I'm doing the assess now, chapter 12, and um, it's been quick and easy. Let's look at question four. A bottle contains two litres of water. How many millilitres is that? Well, I just have to multiply by a thousand. So that, there I go, I've got 2,000 millilitres done. Question five. Sam trains at the athletic track. He completes five laps of a 400 meter track. How far does Sam run and give the answer in kilometers? Okay, so it'd be five lots of 400, five fours of 20, a couple of extra zeros for you and you, that many meters, and of course in kilometers, just divide by a thousand, so it's two kilometer run. Six, Jack buys four kilos of potatoes, right, um, from a local shop. What is the mass of the potatoes in pounds? Okay, then you may recall that one kilo is 2.2 LBs, pounds, so just multiply it by 2.2. .2. So therefore, four times 2.2 .2 is gonna be 8.8 .8 pounds in weight. Check that again, uh, yeah, good. Seven. James buys four pints of milk, so four pints of milk. How many litres of milk are in the bottle? Right, conversion of pints to litres. Now that wasn't given to us actually, so that's not fair. Um, a pint equals, let's just go back and find it, because I don't know this one. A pint, well there's eight pints in a gallon, that's for sure. Yeah, there is no conversion here for pints and gallons. They didn't give us that one. So I'm going to work from, from scratch. Right. Four pints equals half a gallon. Because eight pints equals one gallon. Well, that's not good. They weren't, we weren't told that. So, right. So I've got 0 0.5 gallons. Now, I know how to convert gallons into litres because every gallon is 4.5 litres. So it's going to be 0.5 gallons times 4.5 and that will give it to me in litres, I believe. Yes, so half of 4.5, do it quickly. 2.25 litres. So four pints, um, 2.25 litres. Just do an arrow there to show the connection. That's that one. I'm doing them all, aren't I? Right, question eight. Ang Frank is driving his car in France. I'm oh, well done. Um, his speed limit is 110 kilometers per hour. Um, what is this in miles per hour? All right, so how many kilometers? So you may recall that five miles equals eight kilometers. Set up a simple ratio. Uh, five dot dot eight, that's miles and that's kilometers and then I've got um, my 110 kilometers over here don't worry about the hours just yet and mystery value x in miles so I can go x over 5 110 over 8 or x over 110 5 over 8 makes no difference so miles over miles why not equals 110 divided by 8 just take the 5 over and multiply so x is going to be 110 over 8 multiplied by 5. Let's just jump straight to an answer. 110 divided by 8 multiplied by 5. That gives me a speed limit of 68.75 miles per hour. Of course, it's prob they're probably going to call it 70 ever so roughly, but leave it like that. Let's be accurate. Uh, question, let's just turn over, get some more space. Question nine, a van travels at 270, travels 230 miles. I nearly said 230 miles per hour. Uh, it's in seven hours. Quite a long journey, that. What is the average speed of the van? Well, here we go. Speed equals distance divided by time. Distance, 230. Time taken, seven hours. So 230 divided by seven. We've got 32 Point eight six. I'm going to call that rounding off to two decimal places, and that's in miles per hour. If you don't like that, let's go to 1dp, 32.9 miles per hour. Don't call it 33, that's been a bit too cheeky. So leave it like that. 
so that's that one um, question 10 I'll do that as well may as well a car takes 45 minutes to travel 70 miles so 45 minutes 17 miles right what is the average speed of the car okay so miles per hour obviously 45 minutes what's that three quarters of an hour what's that 0 0.75 hours now I can do it speed equals distance over time distance 17 miles time 0 0.75 hours not 0 0.45 hours we've had this discussion before so that will give me 22.66666 I'm going to call it 22.7 uh, miles per hour alright so that is my average speed in miles per hour may as well do the last one should I do that yes let's just do number 11 up here it says the temperature in a classroom is 18 degrees C and that's to the nearest degree what is the highest and lowest temperature that it could be right so minimum temperature remember half a degree off 17.5 degrees C is the smallest temperature it can be which and they can still call it 18 and the biggest it can be is 18.5 degrees C and that's the I call it greatest how about largest smallest and biggest there we go largest is good enough right so that's that um, there's a question an AQA question I might as well do that as well because there's time to do that just here or maybe down here see how it goes um, somebody's traveling a distance of 30 miles so 30 miles um, and Wendy's going to travel 40 kilometers so this guy's called Dipak and this lady is called Wendy alright who travels further show you working okay then so I've got to convert miles into kilometers or kilometers into miles okay conversion factor uh, five miles eight kilometers we jump straight in so here I go I'm gonna take my 30 miles divide it by five then multiply by eight so I've gone miles and miles and then multiplied by 8 to get into kilometers. So that's going to be 6 times 8, 48. I can do that in my head. So who traveled further? Well, 30 miles is further than 40 kilometers. So therefore, Dipak traveled further. I could have done the same question, of course, by converting my 40 kilometers into miles and, and compared in which case I'll divide by 8 to multiply by 5 let me just do that for you so 40 divide by 8 then multiply by 5 that gives me 25 miles so I might as well put it in there anyway so that was equal to 25 miles and this 30 miles was equivalent to uh, 48 um, kilometers so you can use any one you want okay just use the one that I stuck to because I've got the calculation shown and the other one I did quickly on my calculator show that it can be done. Either way, Dipak's the winner. Travelled further. So that's that. And that's the end of section 12, chapter 12 of Unit 3 at the foundation level. I'm going to sign off right now.